Hey there, kitties. Mr. Mouth here with another super sale update for you. This is kind of like video flyers. That's what this is. Instead of finding the flyer in the mailbox, here it is on Facebook or YouTube with a little bit more details about my big sale this Saturday, July the 13th, 254 Donlands Avenue, starting at 9 a.m. I've really been focusing on the music side of things, the records, the 45s, the DVDs, the CDs, that kind of stuff. But I also have stuff for your eyes. If you're done with your ears or you'd like to read with your eyes, I want to say that I get a ton of great reading material here. If you're looking for some fun summer reads or some stuff for the kids, there's tons of comic books. There's going to be two big white boxes full of comic books. And there's a whole ton of graphic novels, uh, music books, old rock magazines. Here, I'll just show you some of the stuff. Some some of the graphic novel stuff, like the recent Batman 66 series, in which DC Comics is kind of recreating the TV show as a comic book. Here it is, Batman 66 meets the Green Hornet. You can check that baby out. There's this also, The Man with No Name, which is a comic based on the character that Clint Eastwood played in all those great old spaghetti westerns. Uh, what else do we have here? This is kind of cool. Crossover Classics. There was a big time when DC and Marvel, as the two big comic book companies, would do stories combining their characters. So Superman would meet the Hulk, or Batman would meet Spider-Man and stuff. And here's, this is a big collection of just some of those very stories. And they're often quite fun, I have to say. And also, this is, this is a great read. I'm a big fan of Mark Wade. He's one of my favorite modern-day comic book writers. And he did this quite a long time ago, but it's a, an adaptation of the Justice League of America's first year of existence, and it is fantastic. It's really great. And this is the whole combined series in one uh, volume. It is fantastic. You can get any one of those here. Uh oh are we having a cameo? Yep. Okay, come in. We're going to interrupt the books for a second to show you more pie. Here's the pie. Mm. Blueberry raspberry. Mmm. All right, look at that. It's just going in the oven, which means it's going to be totally ready for tomorrow. Delicious pie. Come and do some digging, get some goodies, and then finish off with some pie. It's going to be awesome. Now, music books, too. This is really awesome. Here's Brian Epstein's uh, autobiography, A Cellar Full of Noise. This came out right after the Beatles got quite successful in the 60s there, telling his story and how he pulled it all off. Um, those of you that are musicians want to figure out some songs. Here's the Frank Zappa guitar book with all it's got like all the charts, all the graphs, how to play some of Frank's craziest songs. Whoa. This I don't even play guitar and this looks like some complex shit, man. But there there you go. If you want to figure some of those out, that will be there as well. And check this one out, man. This is amazing. This is a history of the Velvet Underground day by day day and it is thorough like it literally lists each day each of those sections is a day and it's it's unbelievable how thorough this is that's another one five bucks five bucks and you can have this gorgeous book on the history of the velvet underground and of course lots of rock magazines old issues of rock collector which always have great articles about the past here the kinks on the cover we got this one about track records so we've got hendrix and the who the Beatles, of course. Who do we have here? The Small Faces. Always great articles. These magazines, a buck a piece, ladies and gentlemen. Some wicked great reading right there for a buck a piece. And we'll even have some stuff like this. You know, I, I, I like to read sci-fi here. Some Michael Moorcock, who, of course, wrote a lot of song lyrics for Hawkwind. In fact, I believe this is one of the books... This is one of the Elric books that got adapted by Hawkwind. And we've got lots of these nice tawdry old ones from the 50s. The Doctor's Husband. Was she a woman first or a doctor? Mmm. You can read and get all the tawdry details yourself. And heck, yes, indeed. You might even be able to pick something up for your mom. I even have Danielle Steele. This is one of her recent books. And uh, for those of you that like romance novels... There you go, that's the, that's Miss Steele herself right there. You might be able to pick this up for a fun summer read. Two bucks for this baby. Two bucks. Okay, so there you go. Just wanted to let you know that there's more than records, more than DVDs. There's lots of books and reading material here as well. And pie! Don't forget about the pie. The pie's in the oven right now. It's going to be delicious, so don't you dare miss it.